All right, my name is Justin Campbell, I'm 25 years old. For Rally like Rally Barbados, uh, which is basically a two, three day rally. It's one of the most endurance rallies that I have throughout the year. What we tend to do, or what we try to do is actually disassemble the entire car. We do a full run through on the bolts, all the bushings, all the running parts, just to make sure everything is in order. Because you want to ensure you have a reliable car on that day. I mean, the ideal thing is to finish. And to finish, you go already, you already have a reliable car. So what you're actually seeing here today is what we did. We pulled everything off the vehicle, um, did a full inspection, and then we did our orders. I never really took racing this serious until this year. Ask me why, I'm not 100% sure yet. But, um, I mean, recently I had a lot of positive people surrounding me. And, you know, racing is more than just getting in the car and driving. You gotta be focused, you gotta be fit. We're gonna have to be filming Justin working out. And he actually thinks that we're only gonna be doing some core work, but, uh, got a surprise for him. Mwah ha 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 ha. Basically after every workout with James we lost, I think four or five months, everything is different, every day is different. Um, they come with the expectation it's going to be something simple and small. When they get here, something he totally changes up, which is, race is good, it pushes my body to the limit. I think it's when I get in that seat, I am in a completely different, different world altogether. I completely zone out. Even probably a day prior to racing, I'm mentally focused on racing until that day is actually over. Um, I'm not, I mean, there are some drivers who go out there to, to please the crowd. I probably start like that, but realize that that is not really beneficial. And you learn the hard way. And, but to be quite honest, my, my passion starts here. Where it's just building the car, then driving it, and then you know, accomplishing a goal like any day. And also doing it with someone who we share a partnership with, for example, in Navigator One. We have a really cool, really good connection. And, I mean, being in care a whole day with someone like that, you know, where it's frustrating and stuff like that, he's the one who keeps my, my, my head cool. And you know what I mean, we joke along as the day goes on. So it's, it's a fun day like any day, but it's still serious as, as, as time goes on as well. When I get in here, it's like, I'm in the office, I'm in my work zone. If I could do this 24 seven, I will. <laughs> um, I always had a passion for cares. It started that my dad would take me to Bushy Park, uh, my, myself and my brother, and we go watch racing. and. Every time we came home from a race meet, I would tell my dad that I'm going to race one of these days. And I saved some money over the summer and went and bought some roll cage pipe. And I remember the night time he came down here and he saw the pipe next to the car and he asked, what's happening there? I said, well, I'm going to start rallying. He said, what? I said, yeah, you're going to start rallying. He said, where are you going to get the money from? I said, I don't know. Um, I got the pipe, that's one thing for sure. You're going to have to look someone for the end and then you're going to go from there. And I think about two weeks after that, he called me one night and said um, he wanted to talk to me. And he showed me a picture of and that, and this same car I have here at the BMW that we saw on eBay. And he said, well, look, if you're going to take this serious, I'm going to support you 100% from here. And I think that was when things really start falling from there. And I, I mean, I was the happiest kid. And from then, I started racing from, I said, seriously, from 17 until to this present day. Um, it has been very, very challenging, very expensive, very disappointing, very happy. A lot of mixed emotions involved in racing and that's what's keeping me there. I don't think my future is really in Barbados. We are granted a lot of opportunities on here, but it's still limited at the end of the day, especially in motorsports. I mean, my dream is always to drive for an uh, international team. And you know, that was, to me, that was supposed to be my job. You know, I'm still going for that dream. I'm not going to stop short of it. I mean, you get people saying, well, you know what, you have got money to do that or, you gotta be this person to do that or this family name to do that, you know, but I don't believe in anything like that. I believe that, you know, I believe in opportunities. I believe in everyone has the luck on that day. And I believe you never know. I mean, for example, Rihanna, Rihanna got taken up just by luck. And it was just, she was just the right time, the right place at the right time. And I believe that could happen to me as well, you know? So once I put that out there in the universe and the atmosphere, I believe it's gonna come back. So I'm still going for it.